welcome again to this particular session. So as I told you that the upcoming session is going to be pretty vital too, as was section 3. Now we are going to pick up section 4 when this particular section we are going to talk about, as you can see, calculation of corrected profit and manager's commission. So what we are supposed to do under this, let's have a look first of all over here. 4.1. Correct, 4.1 is the question and in this question it is given department X sells goods to department Y. You have to note all these things very carefully that department X sells goods to department Y at a profit margin of 25% on cost. That means you are already given in this particular question that there is a department X, correct, and it sells the goods to department Y and it sells the goods to department Y and sells it at 25% on cost. 25% profit on cost. Further, it is given 25% on cost and to department Z at 10% profit on uh, cost. That means department X actually is selling the goods not only to department Y but also to department Z at 10% profit on cost. Similarly, you have to note carefully that there is department Y also and department Y actually is selling the goods to department X and Z at a profit margin of 15% and 20% on sales. So department X is selling the goods to Y and Z at 25% profit and 10% profit on cost but department Y is selling the goods to department X and to department Z at 15% and 20% profit on sales. Also you are given that department Z <coughs> charges, now department Z is also there, department Z is selling the goods to the other department X and Y, it is given and department Z charges 20% and 25% profit on cost. This is the information given to us so far, correct? The first point is this which is given to us. Now the next point is departmental managers. Departmental managers, just wait. Departmental managers are entitled to 10% commission on net profit departmental managers are to be given as per the agreement 10% commission on the net profit whatever net profit will be there 10% of that will be given as commission to the departmental managers however it is clearly written that subject to subject to unrealized profit on departmental sales being eliminated that mean in this particular question we are supposed to give to the departmental managers, we are supposed to give, see here, there are three department, X, department Y and department Z. From the net profit, from the net profit, we must eliminate because it is given very clearly that departmental managers are entitled to 10% commission subject to, subject to, correct, subject to unrealized profit on departmental sales being eliminated. That means whatever net profits of these respective departments are there, before giving the commission, we have to subtract the unrealized profit of each department. That means unrealized profit of department X, of department Y and of department Z, I need to subtract. So, this will be my net profit after eliminating unrealized profit and logically I should give commission to the manager at the rate of 10% of this profit, of this profit. That means whatever profits which we have got after eliminating the unrealized profit, of this profit we are supposed to give the manager commission and then whatever we are left off with that should be our corrected profit that should be considered as corrected profit. But what the problem here is that question has given further, now pay attention towards this particular line also, correct? Now the next line is very vital, departmental profits after charging manager's commission. 
departmental profits after charging managers commission but before adjustment of unrealized profits are as actor now you have been given in this question problem in this question is that problem in this question is that just to make the point a little bit more clear three departments x y z are there whatever net profits were there whatever net profits you earned in the current year you did not eliminate unrealized profit out of that without eliminating unrealized profit you gave the commission of 10% you gave the commission of 10% to these department so it is given in the question this is given in the question that our net profits after giving commission now it is given in the question see departmental profits departmental profit after charging managers commission but before adjusting but before adjusting unrealized profit means we did not subtract the unrealized profit and after charging managers commission our respective profit are 36 27 and 18 so you have been given that your respective profits are 36000 27000 and 18000 these profits are given to you so problem here is that we know that everything has gone haywire everything has gone wrong why because we were supposed to subtract from the net profit the unrealized profit which we didn't and if we did not subtract the unrealized profit that mean our commission which we must have given to the manager is also wrong correct and this net profit after commission is also wrong so what we will have to do now in order to solve the question first of all i will have to add back this commission to this profit so that i reached at this point that what was my net profit during the year once i will have the net profit before commission that mean that is the our real profit once we will have our net profit then i will subtract unrealized profit that mean the first point is that i need to find out net profit before commission why because we gave the commission without subtracting unrealized profit that is why i will have to add back the commission back again i will reach at this profit then i will have to find out unrealized profit this will be our second step first step is that we have to add to net profit the commission this should be our first step so that we reach at this particular profit once we reach at this particular profit then i will compute the unrealized profit then i will compute net profit after eliminating unrealized profit and of this profit i will then give the commission to the manager then i will arrive over the correct profit this is what i am supposed to do in this particular question correct so this is the question now i hope you got the idea of sorry you have got where is the question i hope you got fair bit of what we call uh, overview of this particular question and now important line is this is another important line is stock lying at different department at the end of the year is also given to you is stock lying at different department at the end of the year is given to you we know that in this question department x as we have already seen department x is transferring goods to y and z so whatever goods during the year x must have transferred to y out of those 15000 worth of stock is remaining with y similarly whatever goods have been transferred by department x to department z 11000 worth of goods are there so these are interdepartmental transferred goods correct and we will compute the unrealized profit on this with the help of these rates similarly as far as department y is concerned whatever goods department y has transferred to department x out of that 14000 worth of stock is still lying with department x this is what we mean by stock lying that mean these are interdepartmental transferred goods similarly y has also transferred goods to department z and 12000 worth of goods are remaining with department z and similar is the case with respect to department z so this information will help us in computing the unrealized profit is it clear to you or not now the main thing is that how to solve the question quite obviously this is the first question so i will have to go deep in it to make you understand better section 4 
section 4 and very important section you must understand why i told you earlier it is very important section and we are picking up question number 4.1 in order to pick up question number 4.1, I have already told you that what we have to do in this. First of all, I need to compute net profit. I need to compute net profit before commission. Because net profit after commission is given to us. Net profit before commission. I want to compute. Net profit before commission. In order to compute net profit before commission of the respective department, departments are Department X, Department Y and Department Z. First of all, I will write here net profit before commission. This is the profit I want to compute, net profit before commission. I will add commission to it. I will add commission to it. And net profit after commission is given to us. Net profit after commission. In fact, I need not require here to add. Otherwise, you will get confused. So, I will simply write commission. Net profit after commission is already given to us in the question correct and this is the mistake no doubt about that this profit which is given to us after commission is wrong because we did not subtract unrealized profit after giving commission net profit with department x is 36000 as we computed as we saw earlier sorry 27000 and 18000 these profits are given in the question itself now you must understand very important aspect. Suppose I say your net profit. Suppose I say your net profit before commission. This arrow means before commission. Before giving commission, let us say your net profit is 100. And if I give 10% as commission, so commission amount will be equal to 10 without any doubt a net profit after commission will be equal to 90 net profit after commission will be equal to 90 correct net profit after commission is equal to 90 see actually you need not require to do much mental exercise you can do it very carefully it means rate of commission rate of commission if i will compute rate of commission on net profit after commission on net profit after commission how i will compute see your commission is 10 and you are computing the rate on net profit after commission net profit after commission is 90 so 1 by 9. It means if your net profit after commission is 9, your commission is 1 and that is why your net profit before commission will be equal to 10. Similarly, if I will ask you to compute your rate of commission on net profit before commission, in that case it will be equal to 10 by 100. But why I need rate of commission on net profit after commission? Because in the question we have got net profit after commission. That being indirectly, you should understand it in this manner. If your net profit after commission is 9, your commission is 1. If your net profit after commission is 9, your commission is 1. And if your net profit after commission is 36,000, <coughs> what will be your commission? That is equal to 36,000 into 1 by 9. That being now, simply by applying this rate, you can find out the amount of commission. So, 36,000 into 9, that is 1 by 9, that is equal to 4,000. So, I must have given a commission of 4,000 to the what we call departmental manager in the current year, it means. Similarly, 27,000 into this. So, commission that is equal to 1 ninth 
of net profit after this one ninth of this for your reference correct and one by nine of eighteen thousand is equal to two thousand since we have we have computed the amount of commission now i can find out what was my net profit before commission my net profit before commission must be equal to forty thousand four plus thirty six three plus twenty seven must be equal to thirty thousand and 2 plus 18 must be equal to 20,000. See, I can also check. 40,000 was my commission before charging commission. Net profit before commission is 40,000. And if I will simply take 10% of that, that will be equal to 4,000. So we have found out now net profit before commission. This should be our first target. Second target should be, <coughs> second target should be to compute your unrealized profit. Now, how to compute your unrealized profit? How to compute your unrealized profit? In order to compute your unrealized profit, <coughs> see here, we will use the table which is given to us below. Correct? There was table given to us. We will use this table. Correct? This is matrix table, you can say. It's this table I will use. To compute unrealized profit, I will write in one column department X, in one column I will write department Y, in another column I will write Z and total also. And total also. Now I will write here transfer from department X. Now it is clearly given in the question, <coughs> a stock lying at different department. So during the year, Department X must have transferred some goods to Department Y and Z as is given to us. And out of those transferred goods, 3,000 worth of goods are lying with Department Y. 3,000 worth of goods are lying with Department Y. Correct? And similarly, sorry, not 3,000 worth of goods. That is 15,000 worth of goods are lying with Department <laughs> Fifteen thousand worth of goods are lying with department Y. Is it clear to you? Now I want to find out what will be unrealized profit on it. Now I will have to look at the rates which I was talking about earlier. And here I was talking about this particular fact when I was making you understand the question. In this question, department X transfers goods to department Y at 25% profit on cost. You will have to turn this rate into selling price. 25% on cost means 25 by 125 on sales or 1 by 5 on sales. Is it clear to you? Similarly, 10% profit on cost means 10 by, 10 by 100 on cost or 10 by 110 on sales or 1 by 10, 1 by 11 on sales. So, because rate of profit on sales must be there because these goods are at selling price. So, X has transferred some goods to Y. Out of those 15,000 worth of goods are still with department Y. Now, I will apply rate 25 by 125 or 1 by 5. Rate of profit on selling price I must apply. So, now I can say that 3,000 is unrealized profit. This will give me unrealized profit. Similarly, a stock with department Z is 11,000. And it is given in the question that when X transferred goods to department Z, it charges 10% profit on cost. So on cost 10%, it will be 10 by 110 or 1 by 11. So I will write here 1 by 11. So 1,000 will be unrealized profit. Because these goods have been transferred by department X, unrealized profit of department X will be considered as 4,000. That is how you are going to compute the unrealized profit. Similarly, now I will write here transfer by department Y. Now you have seen that department Y has transferred goods to department X. And in the column of X, 14,000 figure is written. It means whatever goods being trans, whatever goods which were transferred by department Y, out of that 14,000 worth of goods are still with Department X. Now, when Department Y sells goods to Department X, correct? 
it is clearly written that it charges 15% margin on sales, which we did earlier during our analysis. I will show you once again if you want. Here it is. When we were doing the analysis, when department Y sells goods to department X, it charges 15% and when it sells goods to Z, it charges 20% on sales. So in case of Y rate of profit on sales is given. So 15% of 2000, 15% of 14,000, if I will compute, in fact, it is unnecessarily taking up the space. Let me actually shorten it down. Just wait. Otherwise, it will consume a lot of space. 14,000 worth of goods are with department X and margin is 15% on sales. So 2,100 will be unrealized profit on these goods. Department Y cannot sell to Department Y, so I have put up a dash. Department Y also sells goods to Department Z. Now look into the question, you will find that 12,000 worth of goods are lying with Department Z. These goods have been transferred by Y. Just a moment ago, I told you when Y transferred to Z, it charges 20% on sales. So 20% of this will be equal to 2,400. I will write here 2,400, correct? So total unrealized profit or department Y is equal to 4,500. Interesting. Similarly, now transferred by Z. Z has transferred some goods. And out of those goods, 6,000 worth of goods are lying with department X. And it is given in the question that when X when department Z transfer to department X, it charges 20% profit on cost, 20% on cost. So on sales will be 20 by 120 or 1 by 6. Correct? So 1000 will be unrealized profit on these goods. Similarly, Z has transferred some goods to department Y. And goods lying with department Y is equal to 5000. When Department Z transfers goods to Department Y, it charges 25% profit on cost. So on sales, it will be equal to 25 by 125 or 1 by 5. So I will write here 1 by 5. So again, 1000 unrealized profit. So total unrealized profit is 2000. This is your second step. And this is the foremost step. You have found out unrealized profit also. Now you can find out and meet the demand of the question also. Step C. Calculation of corrected profits. You are finding now the corrected profits and corrected departmental commission. Departmental managers commission. Departmental Managers So now we are in a position to find out Is it clear to you or not? I hope you got the entire theme of this particular topic So this is the statement which will reflect you the corrected profit and of course the corrected commission Problem is that this mouse actually runs away here and there. So now I will write in uh, one column Department X, another one is Y, and then Z. Under step number A, we computed net profit before commission. So I will write that profit which we computed under step number 1. We computed it as 40,000. That means this profit is before giving commission and before what we call unrealized profit, 30,000 and 20,000. Now I will subtract, first of all, unrealized profit and 
if possible you if if you can write it in this manner it would it will be better elimination of unrealized profit elimination of unrealized profit that means we are subtracting the unrealized profit the unrealized profit we just computed unrealized profit of department x is equal to 4000 you will subtract it unrealized profit of department y is also 4500 you will subtract it and 2000 of department z after subtracting this profit now we get net profit after unrealized profit or after elimination of unrealized profit i will simply write after unrealized profit that is 36000 correct 25500 and 18,000. And as per the agreement, we need to actually give the commission to the departmental manager of this amount. Now I will give the commission. Commission will be equal to 10%. Correct? I will write commission here 10% at the rate of 10%. Now don't write here 1 by 9 because you are giving commission of this amount. So 3,600. 2550 and 1800. Clear? Now you will get corrected profits. Corrected profits. Corrected profits. As far as corrected profits are concerned, you can see here 32,400. 22,950 and of course 16,200. So this is how you will have to do the question. Generally question of 8 marks are asked or sometimes even 16 marks are asked from this particular section. Is it clear to you or not? So after having done this question, now we pick up yet another question. Yet another question. In this question, question number 4.2, question number 4.2, now what is given to you? It is given that Messrs. Bright and Company had four department A, B, C and D. There are four department. Each department being managed by a departmental manager whose commission is 10% of the respective department profit subject to a minimum of 6,000 in each case. So this line actually requires bit of attention. Manager will be given a commission of 10% of the profits of the department quite obviously but minimum commission will be 6,000. Minimum commission we have to give 6,000 at any cost. It also means that if a particular department has incurred a loss, let us say, even in that case, we will give him a commission of 6,000. Minimum commission 6,000 will be there. In each case, further it is also written, interdepartmental transfers took place at loaded price as follows. Some interdepartmental transfers are given to you. Similar to the last question, it is, it is given that Department A transfers to Department B at 10% above cost. Department A transfers to Department B at 10% above cost. 10% above cost means on cost. So on sales, it will be equal to 1 by 11. With 10 by 110 and department A also transfers to department D at 20% on cost at 20% on cost so that means 20 by 120 or 1 by 6 this will be the margin on sales now in this question department B is not transferring any goods now department C is transferring goods and department C is transferring to department D 
and department B. Okay, first I will write B and then I will write department D. When department C transfers to department B, it charges 20% on cost. Above cost or on cost are same thing, that means 1 by 6. And when department C transfers the goods to department D, again it charges 20% on cost. 20% on cost, that is 1 by 6. In this question, there are two departments, B and D, which are not transferring goods. Only A and C are transferring goods. Point is this. Second point is that, for the year ended 31st March 2022, firm had already prepared and closed the departmental trading and profit and loss account. Now, in the current year, we must have prepared the profit and loss account. In the profit and loss account, we must have also debited the commission. For the year ended, 31st March 2022, firm had already prepared and closed the departmental trading and profit and loss account. However, after closing the account, subsequently it was discovered that closing stock or department had included interdepartmentally transferred goods at loaded price. After having prepared the account, we found out that there are some interdepartmental transfers and some of the and transfers was at loaded price means at profit margin and some of the goods are remaining. Indirectly, it means when we prepare the what we call accounts for the current year, we did not consider unrealized profit. So, story is same, but has been narrated in a different manner. Is it clear to you or not? That is the only point here. In this particular question otherwise rest of the things are absolutely same even in this question further it is given that department a now some information is given to you in department a there is loss of 38,000 while in department B there is profit 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 interdepartmental transfers is also given to you interdepartmental transfer it means some of the stock is lying with department B and these goods have been transferred. Total actually, un, total stock with department B, interdepartmental goods is 70,000 and question gives below that out of this 70,000, out of this 70,000, 22,000 worth of goods have been transferred by A. Actually, this 70,000 includes 22,000 worth of goods transferred from A and 48,000 goods from Department C. Similarly, there are some interdepartmental transfer goods with Department D and it is stated below that these 4,800 worth of goods, 3,600 have been transferred by Department C and 1,200 have been transferred by Department A. This is given to you in this particular question. Have a good look over here. Is it clear to you? Everything I have mentioned over here. So you need not require to worry about that. Keep the rates. There are only two department A. And when A sells to department B, it charges 1 by 11, you can say now on selling price. And when it sells to D, it charges 1 by 6 on selling price. While in case of C, no problem. It charges 1 by 6 when it sells to B. And when it sells to D, charges 1 by 6 on selling price. This information is given. So ultimately, that means, what is the problem then? The problem is that whatever net profit which we must have computed in the current year, which is given to you, your profits in the current year are these. Obviously, these profits are wrong now because you did not consider the unrealized profit. If these profits are wrong, and remember when you prepared or when you must have prepared the account for the current year, obviously you must have had debited the amount of commission to it. So that means even commission is also wrong. So that is why similar to the last question, again I will have to compute the commission. Then I will have to add to these items to get back to uh, my net profit before commission and once I will have that amount then I will subtract that realized profit then I will subtract the amount of commission to find out my corrected profits correct so pretty long question but I will require a space to solve this one so I will solve it here only similar to the last one 
correct this is question number 4.2 i think so 4.2 Under 4.2, under step number 1, what we are going to do? First of all, we are going to find out net profit before commission. Net profit before commission. We have to find out net profit before commission. In order to find out net profit before commission, I will have to write, there are four departments in this particular case, that is the only problem, A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. Correct? First of all, I will write here net profit before commission. This profit I want to compute. I do not have at this moment the amount of commission also. However, what we have? We have net profit after commission because we have prepared entire trading and profit and loss accounts for the current year. So, we must have debited the amount of commission also over there. So, net profit after commission is with you. Net profit after commission. Which is given in the question, 32,000 as loss. Department B is 56,400. That is profit, 80,000. Sorry, Net profit after commission, after commission, we want to compute, just wait, just wait. Net profit after commission, after commission which is given to you is 38,000. Is 38,000, this is loss in fact. And then 50,400 is your net profit after commission, isn't it or not? And it is not loss. This is the only problem actually. Because question is written in a different page. And then we have in this case uh, 72,000. And then we have 1,8,000. These profits are given to us. These profits are given to us. As we did in the last question. Similarly, we will do here. In order to find out what we call commission, what we did in the last question, because we have net profit after commission. So, and rate of commission is 10%. So, I will have to convert the, what we call rate of commission to rate of commission on net profit after commission. That will be equal to 1 by 9 as we did in the last question. However, here problem is that, in case of department A, there is loss. So quite obviously, you need not require to do any commission, any calculation, because you must have given a commission of 6,000 to this fellow. Are you getting my point or not? Then I will compute. Now, in case of B, there is profit, 50,400. I will compute one-ninth of 50,400. But one ninth of 50,400 will be less than 6,000. Again, I will have to give or I must have given a commission of 6,000 to B also. Are you getting my point or not? However, in case of C, I will take the figure one ninth and one ninth figure will be equal to 8,000. And then I will compute one ninth of this. It will be equal to 12,000. So we have computed commission. I am writing one by nine or 6,000, whichever is bigger. Correct? Whichever is higher, the higher figure. Just for your reference. Now, in this particular question, net profit after commission is given. Now you have the figure of the commission also. So now you can easily find out what was your net profit or net result before the commission? You can find it out. In order to find out, you will have to add it to this. Correct? Actually, this one is subtracted from all this thing. Isn't it or not? Ultimately, when we write commission, just wait to make you understand. 6,000, 6,000, 8,000. That is subtracted from this, then only we arrive over this, isn't it or not? So, that means, 
नेट प्रॉफिट और नेट लॉस बिफोर कमीशन मस्ट बी इक्वल टू थर्टी टू थाउजेंड इन केस ऑफ डिपार्टमेंट ए सी माई नेट लॉस वॉज थर्टी टू थाउजेंड एंड आई गेव ए कमीशन ऑफ सिक्स थाउजेंड आउट ऑफ डेट डेट इज वाई आफ्टर कमीशन नेट लॉस विल बी इक्वल टू माइनस थर्टी एट थाउजेंड ना आई विल एड हेयर इट विल बी इक्वल टू फिफ्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड See here, fifty-six thousand four hundred minus six thousand will be equal to fifty thousand four hundred, and so on. Now it must be equal to eighty thousand. Eighty thousand minus eight thousand is equal to seventy-two, and it must be equal to one lakh twenty thousand. So we have computed net profit before commission. This is one thing. Second thing is now we have to find out. We have to find out, as I told you, unrealized profit. Unrealized profit. Now we will have to find out unrealized profit. In order to find out unrealized profit, in this case, what I am going to do is because there are only two department which are transferring the goods. There are only two department: Department A and Department C are transferring the goods. And question has given. Department B, Department D, and here I am writing unrealized profit. There is Department A transfers by Department A. Only two departments are transferring in this case. Transfers by Department A. Department A has transferred some goods, and out of those transferred, twenty-two thousand worth of goods are lying with Mr. B. and similarly 1200 worth of goods which have been transferred by department a out of that 1200 worth of goods are lying with department d i will show you again just wait let me write first similarly transfers by department c out of transfers if you remember when i analyze the question in the column of b Transferred goods was written seventy thousand, and below it was written that out of those seventy thousand, twenty-two thousand worth of goods have been transferred by Department A. So I have written twenty-two, and rest of the goods have been transferred by Department C. That is equal to forty-eight thousand. In the column of C, it was written interdepartmental transferred goods four thousand eight hundred. and it was written below that out of 4800 1200 worth of goods have been transferred by department a so quite obviously 3600 must be transferred by department d so interdepartmental goods which are left with the department are this much only in the question correct now we know that when department b when department a transfers goods to department b it charges as i computed earlier 1 by 11 on selling price correct so unrealized profit on these goods will be equal to 2000 and when department a transfers goods to department d it charges 1 by 6 correct 1 by 6 so 1200 into 1 by 6 that will give you 200 so total unrealized profit of department a will be considered as 2200 similarly when department d sells goods to department b it charges 1 by 6 and even when it when department c transfers goods to department d it charges 1 by 6 so in case of c there is less problem 8000 unrealized profit and unrealized profit in this case is 600 so total unrealized profit is 8600 now we have computed the unrealized profit after having computed the unrealized profit the next step is to find out your corrected statement now which now we can do and which is quite easy now so statement showing a statement showing calculation of corrected profits
and commission. And commission, correct? So now in this case there are four department. Department A, Department B, Department C and Department D. First of all, we will compute here net profit. We will write here net profit or net loss, obviously before commission, which we computed under step number A. In case of A, there is loss of 32,000. In case of B, there is net profit before commission, 56,400. 80,000 was Department C and 1,20,000. This is your net profit before commission. Now we will subtract the unrealized profit which we did not do earlier. Unrealized profit we computed of Department A is 2,200 and of Department C we, we computed 8,600. So after subtracting the unrealized profit we get 34,200 because the loss will increase 56,400 net profit of department B and 71,400 net profit of department C and 120,000 net profit of department D. Of course, this is net profit after eliminating unrealized profit. Now I will subtract the commission. So I have to give commission at the rate of 10%. However, in case of A, I will give commission of 6000 because if I compute 10% of this, that will be negative 3420. However, I have to give 6000, which I will have to subtract later on. In case of B, it is 5640. Again, I will give a commission of 6000 because minimum commission we have to give 6000. 7140 and 12,000. So now, we will have the corrected profits. So corrected profits will be 34,200 minus 6,000, that will be equal to 40,200. So loss of A corrected will be this much, 50,400 corrected profits of B, Corrected profits of 64,260 of Department C and 8,000 of Department B. This is how you will have to do this particular question. Is it clear to you or not? I hope slowly and steadily you are getting a grip over this particular topic. As far as 4.3 is concerned, 4.3. Here it is written calculation of corrected profit and manager's commission. Now this question is similar to the one which we did under first. Our first question and this question is absolutely, absolutely same. Department A sells goods to Department B at a profit of 20% on cost. 20% on cost means 1 by 6. 1 by 6. Correct? You will convert it into selling price. It will become 20 by 120 or 1 by 6. And when A sells to Department C, it charges 15% profit on cost. 15% profit on cost means 15 by 115 on sales. So, you must convert the rates into what we call your uh, selling price rates. Department B sells the goods to A and C and, and charges 10% and 20% on sales. In case of B, it is given. Department C charges 15%, 10% when it sells to Department A and B and it is on cost. So you will have to convert these rates again to selling price. Similar to the question number one which we did, departmental managers are entitled to 10% commission on net profit subject to unrealized profit on departmental sales being eliminated. And departmental profits which is given to you after charging managers commission but before adjustment of unrealized profit. So these are the net profit which is given to you and these profits are after, these profits are after, after commission. So the first step similar to the last one as I told you, you will convert the, your net profit, correct? Your step number one will be step number A. You will compute the net profit before commission. 
नेट प्रॉफिट बिफोर कमीशन दिस शुड बी योर स्टेप नंबर वन इन ऑर्डर टू कंप्यूट नेट प्रॉफिट बिफोर कमीशन डिपार्टमेंट ए डिपार्टमेंट बी एंड डिपार्टमेंट सी यू विल राइट नेट प्रॉफिट बिफोर कमीशन एंड यू आर गिवन नेट प्रॉफिट आफ्टर कमीशन नेट प्रॉफिट आफ्टर कमीशन यू हैव बीन गिवन डेट इज थर्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी सेवन थाउजेंड एटीन थाउजेंड दीज प्रॉफिट हैव बीन गिवन टू यू नाउ यू विल फाइंड कमीशन बाई टेकिंग वन बाई नाइन्थ ऑफ दिस दैट विल बी इक्वल टू फोर थाउजेंड थ्री थाउजेंड एंड देन टू थाउजेंड so finally you will be able to find out 40000 then 30000 then 20000 this is your step number 1 now all you have to do is to find out your unrealized profit it is given that goods trans first of all pay attention here it is given that a strong line a stock line so this is these are the goods which are lying with the respective department so in this particular question the transferred by department a a has transferred goods to department b and 7200 worth of goods are still in stock 7200 worth of goods are still in stock now you have to just find out at what rate at what rate of margin a transfers goods it is given that a sells to department b at 20% profit on cost so you will take 20 by 120 that is on selling price so unrealized profit will be equal to 7200 into 1 by 6 will be equal to 1200 this will become your unrealized profit and in case of 5750 you will compute unrealized profit 15 by 115 why because it is given that when a sells to department c it charges 15% profit on cost so on selling price it will be equal to this much and if i will apply this it will be equal to 750 so unrealized profit of department a will be considered as 1250 that is equal to 1950 this will be your unrealized profit now goods transferred by department b department b has transferred some goods and 19000 worth of goods are still in stock of a so it is given that b sells goods to a and c at 10% and 20% on sale so in case of b there is no problem so i will take 10% of this that is equal to 1900 this is unrealized profit and b has transfers goods to department c and when it transfer to c it charges 20% on sales so it is equal to 3000 so your unrealized profit will be 1900 plus 3000 that will be equal to 4900 so unrealized profit you have computed 4900 now we come to department c department c sells goods at 15% and 10% profit on cost when department c sells to department a it charges 15% on cost so it will be 115 15, 15 by 115 on sales 4600 into 15 by 115 will be equal to 600 when department c sells goods to department b it charges 10% profit on cost so 1 by 11 on selling price it will be and that is 10 by 110 you can also write so that will be equal to 300 so unrealized profit of department c will be equal to 600 600 and 300 that is equal to 900 so you have been able to find out now net profit before commission and now you have been able to determine unrealized profit rest of the story is quite simple so you will have to compute your net profit you start calculation of corrected profit see we have already reached at this particular stage correct we have all profit after charging managers commission we have added commission so this is your profit less unrealized profit we haven't written it actually what you do 
when you will add it, we have already computed this 40,000. And we have computed 30,000. You need not require to write them again. You simply start with net profit before commission 40, 30 and 20. Correct? Then you subtract unrealized profit. Unrealized profit, as I told you, which we computed, unrealized profit which we computed is equal to 1950. Here it is written. Unrealized profit, then 4900 and 900. So by subtracting 1950 from 40,000, we will get net profit before commission. Actually, this uh, there is a slightly typing mistake, not exactly mistake, net profit before commission 25,100 and 19,100. From there on, you are going to subtract the commission. Correct? And then you will get these profit. You can manage this question easily. There should not be any problem in it. I don't think so. You will face any problem. After having done this particular question, next question you try to do it by yourself. It is very simple. Now, so many times we have done questions of such intensity. So that question, this question should not pose you any difficulty. I don't think so. Correct? Do you think this question will pose you any difficulty? Do you think? Okay, first you try it out by yourself. Actually, I will give you a hint. It is always better to do the analysis of rates. It is very important. A sells goods to department B at 50% profit on cost. Now, 50% profit on cost means 50 by 150 on sales. And sales to department B at 20% profit on cost, it means 20 by 120 on sales. Department B sells goods to Department A. Department B sells to Department A and to C at 25% and 15% on sales. So in this case, it is given on sales. Department C charges 30% and 40% on cost from Department A and Department B. That means A charges 30% on cost means 30 by 130 on sales from Department A and 40 by 140 from department B. So in the rough, you analyze it in this manner. Now here it is given a stock lying at different department. These goods have been transferred by department A, correct? These goods have been transferred by department, sorry, A, yes. So department A has transferred the goods. So you can compute once again, now 45,000, now you have to think about the rate which is given. A transfers goods at 50% on cost, that is 50 by 150, I told you. So you will apply 50 by 150 to 45,000 to get unrealized profit, which is equal to 15,000. Similarly, 42,000 worth of goods with Department C and these goods have been transferred by, transferred by Department A. And A transfers the goods at 20% profit on cost, that is 20 by 120 on sales. So that will be equal to 7,000. So total unrealized profit of department A will be 15 and 7, that is equal to 22,000. So we have been able to find out. Similarly, department B has transferred goods to department A. And in case of B, there is no problem. It charges 25%. So I will write here 25%. 10,000. On sales rate is given. And when department B sells goods to department C, it charges 15% on sales. So 15% on sales. 15% of 72,000 will be equal to 10,800. So total unrealized profit of department B will be equal to 10,000 plus 10,800 that is equal to 20,800, 20,800, correct? And similarly, 30,000, when department C sells goods to department A, it charges 30 by 130, 30 by 130, that is equal to 39,000, 1 by 30, 9,000. So when it sells to department B, it charges 40 by 140. That will be equal to, equal to 12,000. So, 
9,000 and 12,000, your unrealized profit is equal to 21,000. So you have been able to find out your unrealized profit also. And in this question, actually we have to find only unrealized profit. In fact, why I did the solution, solution is already given. Anyway, it will help you in grasping the things. Question number 4.5, correct? What does this question states? Department R sells goods to Department S at 25% profit on cost. So 1 by 25 by 125 on sales. And to Department T, that is equal to 10 by 110 on sales. Department S sells goods at 15% and 20% profit on sales. Department T charges 20%, 25% profit on cost from R and S. That means when Department T will sell the goods to Department R, it will charge 20 by 120 on sales. And when Department T will sell the goods to Department S, it will charge 25 by 125 on sales. The rest of the question is on similar line. 10% commission and these are net profit after commission given to you correct so to these net profit you simply first of all add 1 by 9 that is commission 1 by 9 1 by 9 after adding 1 by 9 to these what we call net profits to these net profits then you will get what we call your uh, commission amount and then you will get your net profit before commission. Net profit before commission. Then you will get your net profit before commission. Easily you can manage this question. Now 50,400, okay, I will do it for you if you want. 54,000 divided by 9, that is equal to 6,000. So 6,000 is the commission. So 60,000 must be net profit before commission. 40,500 divided by this, that is equal to 4,500. So net profit before commission must be 45,000. 27,000, 3,000. <clears> net profit before commission must be equal to 30,000. One major point is this. <clears throat> Next major point is that you have to find out the unrealized profit. Transfer from Department R. When Department R <coughs> transfers goods to Department S, it charges 25 by 125 on sales. So 22,500 into 25 divided by 125, you will have to compute it. And similarly, you will compute 16,500 into 10 by 110. Whatever these two figures you will get, that will tell you unrealized profit by adding this one and this one. Similarly, when Department S sells goods to Department R, it charges 15% on sales. So, no problem. And it charges 20% on sales. Again, no problem. So, you can get the unrealized profit. When Department T sells goods to Department R, it charges 20 by 120 on sales. I have converted it. When Department T sells goods to Department S, it charges 25 by 125. So this is how you can compute what we call your unrealized profit and then rest of the question will be on similar line. Correct? This profit is given to you. First of all, you have added managerial commission. In fact, this we normally do under step number A. This is our step number A, which I did earlier. So we have got our net profit before commission. Now we have computed unrealized profit. This is our step number two. In fact, you can do it this way also. So 6,000, 6,750, 3,000. Now we have reached now we have raised this profit, that is net profit after eliminating unrealized profit. Now we can give commission and then we can find out correct profits. Correct. This is how I have already told you. This is how you will compute unrealized profit. Lots of questions I have given. 
So at least now you try 4.6 by yourself. You should be in a position to try it out. Similarly, especially if the questions have been given in a solved manner, 4.7 you should be in a position to do now. And with that, we come to the end of this particular section also. Correct? So, section 3 and 4 are very, very vital. Correct? So, in the upcoming session, we'll meet you with something new, quite obviously. So, till then, it's time to say goodbye.